Okay, hi, my name is Larry Ogletree, and I'm here to talk about this vintage 1968 Slinger One kit that I'm going to be using at the Paw Paw Wine Festival with the Great Kalamazoo Big Band. We're going to be doing a uh, kind of tribute to Buddy Rich since this is the anniversary of his 100th year that he would have been with us. Uh, this kit is, uh, like I said, a 1968. Buddy used it back in Chicago for some small group uh, things that he was doing at the time with some local Chicago musicians. Uh, I acquired it uh, from a gentleman that used to work for Drums Limited, who at the time uh, was uh, did some roadie work for Buddy. And uh, Buddy, when he got done using the kit, just gave it to him. Buddy was known to do that, uh, which uh, ticked off the drum companies he was with because uh, he'd invariably give his drums away and then the next gig they'd have to send him another kit. Uh, I, to my understanding, I understand that Ludwig, a drum company was with after Slingerland, always had two kits on hand to be able to send out in case he gave one away. So uh, uh, he was very generous that way. And uh, this kit is rare because he always used white marine pearl. So uh, it's a kit that he used, Black Diamond Pearl, Don Osborne Sr. sent it to him. Uh, he used it in a small group setting. Like I said, the bass drum is noticeably smaller than his normal one, usually used a 24. This is a 14 by 22. And because they got it out to him so, so quick, the bass drum head, that's a hand-painted logo on that bass drum head that uh, they had a, a gentleman in Chicago paint for him. Uh, the guy who had the kit uh, knew I was a Buddy Rich fan. I bought the kit back in 84. This was, uh, well, I think Buddy died in 87, so before his death. And Buddy Rich memorabilia wasn't popular back then, but Buddy was my Ringo star. I mean, he was the equivalent for me of Ringo star. I was never really influenced by Ringo, always by Buddy. I always wanted to stay up to watch him on The Tonight Show or Merv Griffin or Mike Douglas, he was always on that stuff. And so when I found out that this kit might be available, I talked to Felix, uh, we negotiated a price. Uh, I didn't know what it was gonna look like. Uh, he told me what it was like. He, I went to his house, showed it to me, and uh, immediately said, I gotta have it. I've got all the cases as well. Uh, I got all the uh, hardware. This hardware you're seeing is Ludwig hardware, but I do have all the original Slingerland stands too. Back to the story of how I acquired the drums. He showed me the kit and I immediately bought them and uh, brought them back home. It was the kit that I'd always wanted. I mean, I always wanted a, a, a Buddy Rich kit ever since I saw them in catalogs when I was just playing on the practice pad. So uh, after I got them, of course, uh, Buddy was still around. Uh, he died in 87 and someone found out, a collector found out from the West Coast that I had these drums and the rarity of the fact that they were the only black diamond pearl kit he used. And I've got photos of him with it and everything. So uh, I was uh, offered a substantial amount of money at the time. Uh, of course, didn't want to take it because, you know, these were the drums I always wanted. So I've kept them, and uh, I've only used them one other time, and this is going to be really the second time I've ever had them out, and it's uh, such a joy to play them again and get reintroduced to them and uh, have really the perfect vehicle, the Kalamazoo Big Band, to use these drums with. So if you're going to be around September 10th, Paw Paw Wine Fest, and you want to check these drums out and hear a great band, with some great tunes. I can't guarantee you that I will do the full Buddy Rich swearing at the band and firing at the band on the break. You know, that may happen, we'll see. But uh, at any rate, please come and check them out. And I hope you've enjoyed checking out the YouTube of, or video, if it goes onto YouTube, the video of me and my Buddy Rich kit.